Okay, so here's the last last video on the top side of this part. Just gonna tap those uh, was it 12 holes, I think. So it's uh, pretty simple. It's real similar to um, drills. And let's first thing you need to do is make a actually make a cutting tool. I already put one in here, so I'm gonna delete it just so you can we can recreate it. It's real simple. Master Camp got a bunch of defaults in there. So right hand tap, select that. This really bizarre picture of looks like something went wrong with that tap. Say OK. And then you got all your standard taps in here. Where's a quarter twenty? And double click on it. And just to make sure we look here. And we got a quarter twenty and it is not a redundant tool number. So that's good. So actually we got eleven eleven tools so far in this thing. I think one we're not using right now. Okay, so it's just like drilling. In fact, it's so much like drilling, we're going to use drilling. So the toolpath, drilling, now just like we did before. And I select entities, and now I'm going to, I'm going to try to, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to try, I'm going to zoom in. So I can see these entities clearly. I've had selection problems before because I haven't taken my time. It's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so those are all our um, tapped holes. Okay, so now we get a drill. I told you before we have a drill. We really have a drill cycle here. Tool. We're going to pick a tap. Now that's going to know a little bit about um, that we're doing a tapping operation, but it doesn't know as much as you might imagine. It doesn't know that we're rigid tapping because uh, it doesn't know if our machine does it. It doesn't know if we even want a rigid tap. Maybe we have one of those compression holders. So when we go to cutting parameters, everything looks great, and I would think that we're good, except we're not, because that will not rigid tap. That will not use a G84. But if we do select rigid tapping cycle, then, um, then we will. Um, okay, so linking parameters. I'm going to set our depth. Let me zoom in so we can see it. Sometimes I'm a little too fast on this stuff, and I bet you on the videos it's hard to see. So the depth, here we're going to select the bottom, top of stock. Since we've cut this whole thing out, we know that this is the top of stock. And tip comp. I definitely want tip comp, so I think this is left over from the boring. So let's, uh, I'm going to estimate that it's a 90 degree tip angle. I don't actually know that. And then we're going to, I'm going to say a, Eighth inch breakthrough. You're really gonna have to go measure it um, on your tap or get it from your your vendor to understand um, how much uh, taper you're gonna have on that on that uh, tap. It's gonna be different for every kind of tap. And then um, planes are planes are still okay. Turn the coolant on. Now in aluminum, you're probably okay, but uh, you, sometimes you want to have different different coolant when you're tapping uh, tapping and cutting. Sometimes uh, you need and molly lube or um, high sulfur oil. It depends on the material, depends on the tap. A lot of times you can get away with uh, things pretty easily in aluminum, even 7075. So you can see it looks just like a tap. Uh, it looks just like tapping cycles look just like a drill. The one difference is if we go, let me select that. Now we haven't done any G coding yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, without talking too much about the the posting process. I'm going to just jump through here and I'm going to save it as tap test. And I want to just show you that indeed we are on the right track because we've got this G84 cycle and then you see point, 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 a bunch of points. So it's it's in a cycle and then it turns it off here. So that's, that's good. Um, considering that we just went into a drill routine and had a choice between tap and rigid tap and Mastercam doesn't exactly beat you over the head with a lot of details there. It's nice to be able to just go in here in the G code and see that we did call a G84 and um, then called a bunch of points and did not do a bunch of rapids and other um, complicated moves. Uh, these tap cycles are supposed to be simple. So there we go. That's the that's the whole thing. That's uh, tops is done. Uh, I guess uh, I'm gonna probably not do a, a video for a little bit so you can catch up. And then um, next thing we're going to do is 
probably flip this thing over and start thinking about what that um, uh, start thinking about what the the fixture is going to look like to hold it upside down. Okay.